So in this video, we are going to see the messaging policies. Uh, you can notice I'm in Edge browser. Uh, for some reason, uh, on Firefox, I'm getting security zone error. So I tried everything, deleting cache, etc. Didn't work, so maybe it's a non-issue or not. So messaging policies. Messaging policy applies to everything being sent or received on your teams there's a like always it's a organization wide default policy you can look into it and that's pretty much the same if you were to add your own so if you can see this is the one uh, that's the default if I cancel and try to add my own everything is exactly the same but this one I can change and name it let's see what the other owners can delete and send messages so owners <coughs> obviously they can or cannot it's right now turned off for god knows what reason because delete send messages is on so anybody who can send a message uh, will have an option to delete it if there's like typos or you know anything i do it all the time uh, if there's a typo and it's a long message uh, so but but because why write in roman so what i do is i copy it, my previous message delete it paste it correct the mistakes and resend it so it's pretty handy edit send messages then um, is uh, that basically <laughs> defeats the purpose that i do with this one is that it will actually lets you allow the message it will though say message edited like it wasn't the last send it will be saying lost um, added it <clears throat> and i think if you have a smaller edit window like within a few minutes or half an hour an hour that you can really edit it after that you no longer have the ability to edit that message read receipts is by user control if user wants that to be enabled on their devices meaning that uh, you or <clears throat> like any user who received that message for example there are five people in a group and two of them configured their settings that they sh it is shown to other people that what message they had sent those them has been read by them then for example you receive a message and you set the setting that each time it sends a receipt out to the sender that hey he had you have seen that then this is user control you can turn off for everyone <coughs> uh, everyone you can turn it for you can enforce it for transparency that nobody can say hey i did not see that message and we do it all the time with text but on teams that yeah they will know okay he has seen it there's no need for him not to do it. so then you will come say oh i forgot i read it but then i forgot to do it <coughs> <laughs> that's funny so chat are you enabling chat in your teams pretty obvious it should be um, especially if you're replacing it uh, uh, with the uh, Skype use glyphs uh, gifs gifs are those you know that pictures graphics emoticons type <coughs> uh, you're turning them on gif content trading what kind of content you have strict moderate no restriction no restriction mean they can send out everything memes in conversation are those you know those pictures like uh, dynamic pictures that kind of a, like a maybe two second movie in that's the memes stickers and other thing <clears throat> if you remember uh, yeah stickers are like those shiny things that you pasted uh, allow URL preview. This is good. <coughs> I like it. Uh, when you paste a URL in the chat window, it will actually bring us kind of small snippet of that uh, website. Like uh, from, I think it's uh, bring it from, from the metadata of that website that what that link is about. <coughs> um, next is translate message. This is very, very cool feature it's getting popularity uh, of course there are some bugs but it's uh, pretty neat uh, is that you type a message in 
English and the other person gets to read it in Japanese or somebody write it in Spanish or uh, Chinese and you get to read it in English so do you, do you want to turn this feature on you can turn it on allow immersive, re immersive reader for viewing messages immersive reading is another cool feature that is that uh, text-to-speech if you were it's like the reading pen is uh, either more suitable for reading on the screen like uh, this screen but not meant for for a long period of reading um, but yeah that helps reading or it will have a icon um, um, the speaker icon you can text uh, select the it to read the whole text or you can select a portion of that text and have it read it to you as the, this one is send urgent message using priority notification we do it all the time on Skype that if a message like in a group chat where it's, everything is going on so fast so you send a uh, like priority notification that um, that is an exclamation point brings up a red exclamation next to your message which means that this is important and somebody uh, needs to pay attention to it so the moderator they look into it and then they contact the one of the, your supervisor or manager to you know <coughs> to go and take that call for you from you and all that so create voice messages do you want or not so it is allowed in chats and channels both if you remember we did the channels it's like a facebook thing on the <coughs> like on the teens website uh, allow in chats only or disable so these are the three options I would do it on both sometime you want especially when you're driving and you need to respond you don't want to text it you just want to hit the button say it and then be done like if something really really important <coughs> on mobile devices display favorite channels above recent chat this used to happen uh, I think in one of our video we saw that uh, uh, the channels where the messages were being sent will go to the top and the inactive channels were in the bottom this one is kind of similar where the favorite channels like the channels that you have favorited will be on the top and so you know you have an interest in that channel you're actively looking and uh, wanting more information from those so that this is disabled by default you can enable it and then user will be able to or it will be automatically done for them whatever they favorite will be on the top of channel list on the sidebar here <clears throat> so remove user from group chat so this is for the admins the of that uh, that um, those groups and channels or chats that they can remove a certain user from their chat uh, that is no, no longer deemed um, or want wanted in that chat so this is pretty simple it's just the passage policy so when you apply uh, you can create a different one with different settings you can name them keep them and you can simply have to apply so your job as an admin will be to apply these settings to different groups and <clears throat> it will be requested by them what they want to all right so if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one